hi friends welcome to all in this video we are going to see how to install uh, oracle 11g express edition so we have to download that oracle 11g software uh, from oracle website so we will go to our web browser we can go to a uh, search engine we'll go to google and here we will search oracle 11g express edition free download and here we can see oracle database express edition 11g release to download so we will click on this link and here we can see the page oracle websites oracle.com we can download oracle database express edition 11g release 2 uh, from this uh, web page or uh, directly we can go to oracle.com here we can see that it's oracle.com here we can see our uh, main page so bottom of this page here we can see software download so we will click on this link and coming to uh, downside here we can see database database 11g express edition we can click on this link here we can see now we are on the same page here we must accept the OTN license agreement so click on this radio button accept a license agreement right so we can uh, see the link here Oracle Database Express Edition 11G Release 2 for Windows 64 a bit. Here we can see the setup for uh, Windows 32 also. So accordingly we have to download it. Here we are going to download uh, for uh, Windows X64. Now we can see we are in the sign-in page. So, if we don't have the credentials, we can create an account. So, go to this create account. And we have to fill these uh, uh, basic details and we have to create this account. Once we created our account, we can give the details, username and password here. So once we give our credentials and sign in, uh, here we can see uh, it starts uh, downloading the C uh, uh, file, Oracle Express Edition 11G uh, Release 2. This is for a Windows 64 bit. So once this uh, download completes, we can go to that folder, show in folder, and here we can see that zip file. So we will unzip this file. And here we can see a folder named disk1. We will go to this uh, folder disk1. And here we can see uh, the setup file. We will double click on this file. And here we can see preparing to install. Here we will click on next license agreement I accept terms in the license agreement here we can see those license agreements the next and here we can see uh, choose destination location here we can see the default destination folder it's a C uh, or, uh, Oracle XE right so here we can see the space required on C also it shows the available space uh, on the disk C we will press next now here we will give uh, the password we 
you will confirm the password and click next and here we can see the details current installation settings right so we will uh, click on uh, install Here we can see install shield wizard complete. So we will click on this uh, finish button. Now we will get start with our Oracle database 11G Express Edition. Here we can see the shortcut created after installing the software. So we will double click on this uh, shortcut. But it shows error Windows cannot find http colon double slash localhost colon 8080. Actually here it should be the port number but it shows percentage HTTP port so we have to give this port here right so we will go to the installed directory see here we can see uh, Oracle XE app Oracle protect 11.2.0 server and here we can see that shortcut get underscore started We'll right click and we'll go to properties and here we can see that URL. So here we have to give that a port number. It's 8080. Okay. Right. So now we will try this. Yes, now it's working. Now we can see Oracle database express edition 11.2 and here we can see the options storage view currently used storage so we can click on this button sessions view current database sessions parameters view initialization parameters and here we can see application express get started with oracle application express so we will go to this application express so it's prompted for the username and password we already created a password uh, for the database uh, users uh, system as well as sys uh, during the uh, installation of this uh, oracle 11g express edition so we can give a, a username uh, here we can see that uh, for example system yes so username we can give as system so login as a database user which has been granted the dba database role so obviously the system uh, database user um, has uh, those uh, uh, role we will give the password what we created uh, during the installation and the login right now we are going to create an application express workspace suppose we have an application express workspace already then we can click on this button already have an account and login here so we can click on this button and we can login uh, but if you don't have we can uh, create this workspace so to get started with oracle application express create a workspace so uh, we need we need to specify these things a database username application express username then password here we can see those fields now we will create a new uh, workspace so we will give the database username as a tech acad then application express username also we will give as a tech acad and we will give the password and we will create a workspace so now it's uh, creating the workspace
here we can see successfully created workspace tech acad to begin click here to login all right so we will click here to login here we can see workspace tech acad username tech acad and here we will give the password what we given and we'll click on login it's working better we will give save Now what I am going to do, I am going to close this window, uh, before that we will log out. Then we will close it. Again we are going to open with the help of a web browser. We will go to Google Chrome. And here we can give the URL. We will give localhost colon 8080 slash apex. And here we can see now we are in Oracle Application Express. So here we have to give a workspace. It's a tech ahead. Username tech ahead. And the password. Then we will login. Invalid a login credential. So one more we will give the password as Oracle. It's working. Now we will go to SQL workshop and we can go to SQL commands and we will uh, give a query here. Select sysdate from dual and we will run this. So here we are getting the result. It's working. Also, we will verify all the tables in this uh, schema tech acad. So here we will give the query. Select star from user underscore tables and we will execute this query. And here we can see all the tables in this schema. DEPT EMP right now we will view a table select a star from we will give a EMP and we will execute this query and here we can see the result set for the table EMP Well, in this video, we have seen how to install Oracle 11G Express Edition and how to uh, work with that. Friends, we have many number of technical videos in the forthcoming days. So, consider subscribing. Stay tuned. Thank you.